After critical acclaim of our first video, welcome to part two of stereotyping people on motorbikes. In this installment, we'll be looking at the more rare examples of motorcyclists you might stumble upon online and IRL. Let's get started. Number one, the Busa bro. Hi, Busa motherfucker! For some reason which continues to perplex leading statisticians, this example is typically a stout African-American male with a throw for speed. He will groan about how he's finna put a turbo on that bitch so he can smoke some underground racing Lambos at TX2K16. In his free time, he pretends to be a Japanese bullet train or a peregrine falcon. Mo fucking boosa, bruh. Number two, the forum sensei. Hey guys, I'm new here. What size is the oil? It's gonna be a 10 millimeter bowl for the release plug and you'll need a five millimeter hex key to remove the lower fairing. How is he so goddamn knowledgeable? Did he commit the owner's manual to memory? The forum sensei has transcended to a being of pure knowledge. His sweet ass sig is usually him dragging knee at a local track with an inspirational quote in an off-sized aerial font. Life isn't what's around the corner. It is the corner. Number three, the Grom bro. Grom! 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 How many mods does this guy have done to this thing? Three rear brakes? What the hell is that? Oh, it's for dank woolies, I see. This is a highly specialized squid that borders on stuntman when you see him taking his sweet little 125cc machine off of sidewalk ramps. Put dirt bike tires on it. Swap a Panigale motor into it. Launch it off an unsuspecting children's skateboard ramps. Bust nuts on it. Who cares? Grom! Number four. The multiple bike bro. Bro. Check this sick Craigslist deal, bro. Bro, Craigslist, bro, I'm flipping it in like two weeks. Psh, this guy was a total sucker. N plus one, bro. Does this guy even ride? You are jealous of his seemingly endless options and variety of bikes. Where's this guy's wife? Is this bike his wife? Is Baiku his waifu? How big is his garage? Multiple bike bro defies questioning and makes you wonder why you don't own more motorcycles. Number five, broke college kid. Tuition is stupid high these days. Mom, can I get a bike? It's cheaper than a car. Mom, insurance is like $5 a month. He'll work his ass off at Taco Bell, scrimping and saving every penny to buy up a beat up 1970s Honda off of Craigslist that's been bastardized into some sort of cafe racer. He's guaranteed to post on a forum asking why his engine case cover says Suzuki, but his fairing says Honda. Number six, Supermoto dude. Sumo is life. Don't try to tell this fella that you even like your bike, bro. All riders tend towards the sumo. The prophet moto vlogger will tell you. Sumo, my child, it is the light. It is the way. These enlightened bastards believe that any rider who rides long enough will ride a supermoto. What if I don't like the seat? It's kind of harsh on my ass. Get an aftermarket seat, my son. Wait, I have to do an entire conversion of a dirt bike to even get a supermoto? Bro, you really need to stop talking shit about supermotos. I don't even know what kind of fucking rider you are, man. You come. Number seven, the commuter. Never seen, only heard. In a nondescript working man's jacket, clear visor, tall upright bike, racks up at least 75,000 miles per year, not even counting that cross-country tour he just came back from. He's also known as the iron butt in many circles, and the commuter is a legend, whose road manners are unsurpassed. You'll try to strike up conversation about bikes, but you'd never even guess this guy rides as much as he does. Number eight, the GSXR bro, the Hayabusa sapling. The Jixer bro is the rusted chain having, flip-flop wearing, icon motorsport Sports rockin', monster energy drinking, crackhead girlfriend having Jixer bro. A snapshot in time, really, the Jixer bro never seems to go out of fashion. He'll tell you that they're the comfiest of all super sports, but you know why he chose to ride a bike that looks like it came straight out of 2004? For all the squidding and tomfoolery that it provides. Jixer bros remind us that being a degenerate hooligan is not only fun, it's inside all of us a little bit. Number nine, arrow stitch guy. Here he is, Mr. Professional, Mr. I have a career, son. But he needs to be professional when he shows up to his professional job. Shit, what should I do? Sport bike jackets aren't professional and professionals have BMWs. What should I, <gasps> I know what I'll do. I'll wear an arrow stitch jacket to look like a monochromatic blob on top of my BMW GS1200. This human condom wearing professional will always talk down to you and remind you that the arrow stitch is the greatest motorcycle jacket of all time. But like an all-weather tire, you know there's better choices. Thanks for tuning in to part two, guys. If you like what you've seen, be sure to subscribe to the channel and share this video. You're all sweet and wonderful, and I love you. Goodbye.